Greetings, family. It's your boy, Jay Whitfield Inspires, coming back at you once again with another video. As you can see, I'm in the car today. I'm doing some riding around, handling some business, trying to make it happen, all that good stuff. I'm in Atlanta, making it happen. Y'all know how I like to do it. I want to first thank everybody for liking the videos and subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. I really appreciate y'all for all my new subscribers. Welcome. I really appreciate you guys for, uh, you know, helping us. Uh, spread this Virgo knowledge, baby. So for those who don't know, I am a Virgo. I'm a minister and I'm a reverend. Those are the same thing. I just like to say it like that. I'm doing extra Virgo. So, yeah, on my channel, I talk about relationships. And I talk about Virgo men and men in general and how women can help better help themselves understand men and better their relationship. So today, I want to talk about something I talked about months ago in a live video. And that is, what does the Virgo man's hot and cold behavior mean? And why does he have hot and cold behavior? What does it mean for you? What does it mean for him? I want to explain that because this happens all the time. And I got this issue again from um, private session. I was talking to a young lady in a private session. And she, she was telling me yeah, he got this hot and cold behavior. I just don't understand it. He does it all the time. He drives me crazy. So I want to address that today. And you already know, if you need a private session, you need to talk to me personally. Uh, hit the link in the description. And you can schedule a time to talk to me. And we can make it happen like that. So today, why does the Virgo head man have a, a hot and cold behavior? So it's a few reasons. Um, one is he he sometimes he don't understand. I ain't gonna say he don't understand his feelings, but sometimes he don't necessarily understand his feelings. Right? Virgos have nervous energy. You gotta understand Virgos rule by Mercury. Mercury rules the planet. Mer the planet of Mercury rules communication. Now, what I always say, communication is more than just talking. Communication is body language, energy, aura, with an A, you know, and, uh, you know, just, just love and, and language. You can feel this, body, all that stuff. You can feel this with communication. And Virgos um, feel these things to the fullest. And so this causes them to overthink things and overthink everything. And it causes them to really become a little unstable sometimes when it comes to their emotions, right? And this causes hot and cold behavior because he's thinking about this, he's thinking about that. And when it comes to love, it really throw, throws them out. I don't know why love and emotion throw us off like that, ladies, but it does. So I just want to help you understand it. Each Virgo man is different, but generally this is how they are. So, um, so like I said, we think a lot. We always think in our mind because we're analytical, and this causes us to overdo everything. We can explain molecules, atoms. We can break everything down to a science. But when it comes to love and emotions, for some reason, we get tongue-tied we just don't know you know and so this causes us to back off people sometimes because we have to get to know you y'all heard me say this all the time we have to get to know you, you have to understand you and sometimes we don't know how we feel about that we know we like you we know we're attracted to you we know we like who we know we like your personality and who you are but because we move so slow and because we analyze things we go up and down one day we hot one day we cold right one reason why we're hot and cold because uh, y'all hear me say before, we have an energy cap, right? Just say you have a cup, a cup of water. Eventually, the cup of water gets filled. If you keep filling, if you keep pouring water into the cup, eventually the cup is going to overflow. So you have to pour the water out or to something else to put more water in. And if you can uh, translate that to a Virgo, this is how Virgo, Virgos are with their feelings, emotions, and everything in life. We only have, we have a certain capacity for everything in life, a certain energy, right? We have an energy cap. And once this energy cup gets full of um, the day-to-day -day life, emotions of friends, problems of other people, and love and emotions from you. It eventually gets full. And so and when that gets full, we have to back off because we, can't, we just literally can't give no more. And I know your lady said, well, just say that. Why are you going to just say that? I know. Very, very, valid, very valid point. We should just say that. But sometimes Virgos don't know when it's going to happen. You know, so it just happens. You know, we go on about a day to day, and they thing you know, boom, uh, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Virgos get overwhelmed very easily. Okay, so ladies, watch what, watch how much emotion you put on him at a time. You know, take it slow. You know, but as time goes on, as your relationship progresses, he's not gonna be hot and cold as much. But he's gonna, he is gonna do it for a while. Another reason why he's hot and cold is because sometimes he really just have to take a, take a step back from you. It doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong. It doesn't mean that you're doing anything bad. It doesn't mean that he's disgusted or, or, or upset with you. Just like ladies, sometimes, you know how you're dealing with a guy, he asks you what's wrong, what's wrong, you say nothing, you know, but it really be something. 
it don't really be him. It just be sometimes you emotional. Sometimes you, you had a long day. Sometimes you just don't feel like talking, and you really can't explain it to him. You just you just want him to kind of respect it and just understand that hey, you might just need a moment. Same thing with Virgo men. Um, Virgo men have a lot of feminine tendencies, by the way. You know, I'm not ashamed to say that. Um, but yeah, so another, sometimes he just had to back off from you because um, you are a lot. Every woman is a lot to deal with. I don't care who the woman is. She can be Michelle Obama, the lady from the street, the girl from the hood. It don't matter what woman is. White girl, black girl, Asian girl. Every woman is a lot to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Every woman. Every woman. And so, Virgos feel that. You know, so eventually he just, he just got to take a step back from you. You know, and, and just get it together. Because he, he honestly, he is trying to please. He's trying to get to know you. And so... His goal is to really know you and really to have you in his heart um, on a on a on a high level to you know to please you. He wants he wants to make you happy, but it's a learning process. See, where other guys try to make you happy, other guys may try to buy you stuff. They might try to buy you love or buy your love, or they may try to be physical with you all the time. Like I'm talking like intimacy, you know, uh, or they may try to just overdo it to win your love. Virgos don't do that. We do that on a certain level. Virgos want to. Really get to know you. Virgos want to understand what makes you you. What makes you tick. What's on the inside. What's in your heart. What's in your mind. What's in your soul. And so in our doing this, we get overwhelmed sometimes because you can't just ask somebody that and understand all that. And you have to be around this person. You have to see this person. You have to know this person. And that takes a lot out of him. You know? And so sometimes, you know, you're dealing with a whole other human being. You got to deal with their ups and their downs. And so this causes him to just get overwhelmed with you but it's not a bad thing like it's not a bad thing because we get overwhelmed with everybody it just simply means that he need to back up but he not see the reason why he don't communicate this to you most virgos don't out in my opinion most virgos don't understand how to communicate this they don't understand this as articulately as i do understand it you know i've been thinking about this so that's why i'm able to say it and break it down for you but he not he may not be thinking about it like i'm thinking about it right he may just he may just understand it and feel it and naturally and subconsciously, he may just, you know, go get hot and cold. I know some ladies say, well, for three days, we was we was hitting the town. We was hitting the city. We was going on dates. We was kissing and hugging. We was Netflix and chilling. You know, we was lovey-dovey, I hearts. You know what I'm saying? We was doing all that. And then on the fourth, fifth, and sixth day, I ain't hear nothing from him. It's, it's like we never, he never existed. That's hot and cold behavior. This is why this going back to the to the love cap. Okay, the love cap. He's gonna do that because sometimes Virgos can't sustain this, you know, continuously. We can sustain it over time, but consecutively, uh, like that's what I'm saying. He can't, can't sustain it because it's, it's a lot. Because you gotta understand, this is why it's a lot. Because we are overthinkers. We are already crazy, crazy busy. We already have a lot of stuff going on, and we are already overwhelmed with everything in life because we break down everything in our life everything is analytical to us and so when it comes to love and emotion these things are the most taxing from us so we're, we're able to give you that love in spurts you know we, we sometimes you with a virgo you're gonna have the best time of your life you're gonna feel secure you're gonna pay for everything you're gonna feel loved in all areas of womanhood you're gonna feel that and then he gonna just maybe go go. He's gonna, he gonna not call, not text. You know, what I'm saying not reply. You gonna be like, what in the world? What did I do? Was my breath stink? What, what what going on? You know, was my lady hood smelling bad? You know, what I'm saying nothing. It's nothing like that, lady. It's just what it's just what he does. You know, he needs he needs to step back to recharge himself. It's called self care. Yes, Virgos do need to do a better job at communicating this. I'm not saying that this is acceptable. I'm telling you what it is, so you can know what's going on. Okay, it's a difference between saying it's acceptable. It's a different. Y'all know what I'm saying. You know, you first got to understand before you, you know. But most Virgos, they just, it's a part of their habits. See, most Virgos don't even perceive this as a problem. So your job is to let him know that it's a problem, right? Because we've been doing this all our lives, okay? We've been doing this all our lives. And to us, we are accustomed to it. My last relationship, I used to do this all the time. The girl got somewhat upset with me. We almost broke up. And I just did not, because I did not understand what she was talking about. To me, this was, it was something I needed to do for me. And it, it wasn't me being selfish, saying I don't care about your feelings. I was trying to let her know, like, yo, sometimes I just have to back up from you. I don't know why. I need time to recharge. I need time to recoup. I need time to just get my mind together. It's nothing to do with you. It's just that you are another human being. You know, we're dealing with each other. 
And in order for me to deal with you properly and love you properly, I have to love myself properly. It's called self care, but he just he just don't understand. Maybe that is self care, but his his being feel that is self care. His soul feel it. So naturally, his soul is telling him to back up. Just like plants, you know, you got some plant that close up at night. When the sun come out, something inside the plant and the genetics of the plant says open up. You know what I'm saying? The season change. Something, something genetically, something in the plants. You know when to change colors and things like that. This is what the Virgo does. This is why his, he has hot and cold behavior. Your job is to figure out your particular Virgo and why he has a hot and cold behavior. What makes him, you know, what makes him tick? Because everybody's different. But generally, this is how it is. But my last relationship was the same way, you know. And she had to keep telling me, man. And I, I honestly, to, to honest to God, in my heart, I wanted to not do this to her. I wanted to make her happy. So I had to learn how to do it. I had to learn her. I had to learn where I was wrong. I had to learn where, what step, what I was doing. Because to me, I didn't recognize it. I mean, I knew, I just, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't function all the time. So it's a balance. A Virgo man's toughest challenge is balance. Balancing that time and that hot and cold, that hot and cold behavior. So that's why sometimes he's calling, sometimes he's not. But understand this. Y'all hear me say this all the time. Virgos are not really phone people, okay? We don't really text and call and things like that. So don't expect that from him. He's just not that type of person. Some are. You know, but don't please don't expect that all the time because he's just not that type of person. You know, he don't got time to be sitting on the phone all day. He he, he busy. He got stuff to do. Another reason why Virgo had hot and cold behavior because they busy. You know, they have to think about the projects they are doing, right? They have to think about the day to day tasks. If you know any Virgo man, you know this man is busy. He got like four or five. I got like, I got like four jobs. I got like two three jobs. It's just just because, man. You know what I'm saying? I do counseling. I'm in ministry. I'm in community praying with people. You know what I'm saying? I'm preaching sometimes, you know, and I got I got um, other regular jobs. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's just, it all comp and I do like uh, teaching with African, you know, African American history and stuff like that. Lectures. I'm always working on projects, and so I have to have time to pull these things together in order to give the people a great product. Okay, so in order for the Virgo to man to function properly in life, he has to have so much quiet time, so much alone time. Out of all the signs, the Virgo man need the most alone time. And if he don't get it, he's going to feel off. So he's going to naturally start backing up from you because he feel like you're stealing his time. So you, you need to learn what he has going on and how he has it going on and how you can fit into that. And once you do that, he will fit you into that because he see that you respect what he got going on. He see that, you know, you allow him to be. So later, to, to battle, to combat this hot and cold behavior from him, just allow him to be. It's going to be it's gonna be a little tough. I say this all the time. If you want to date a Virgo man, you got to have patience above all things. Because these men are slow and methodical, okay? They're not the fast, some some are, but you are not the fast movers. They're going to they take their time. They're going to do to perfection. And they're not going to do it unless it's right, okay? They're not going to do it unless it's right. No matter what it is. No matter if it's money, family, women. They're not going to do it unless it's right. Remember that, ladies. But if you let him just be, let him breathe. Let him work it out. I guarantee you, he will integrate you into his life, and it won't become a problem no more. But you gotta, you gotta go through that process. You gotta, cause he's trying to, he's so accustomed to doing his own thing. You know what? It doesn't mean I'm gonna do my own thing. I don't care about you. It doesn't mean that. It's just a habit of life. If you're accustomed to doing something, you're accustomed to doing something. If you want to do something differently, you have to rewire yourself to do it differently. So, um, allow him to be. Allow him to flow. Rock with him. Be patient, and I guarantee he he will bring you into the fold, and and you will know his every move. He will he will take you into consideration because now you inside his heart. Now you integrated. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's more than just I want you to change. He got he got to feel you there. He got to feel that you that you worthy, that you with him, that you rocking with, that you understand his life. When you under, when he feel you understand his life, I will guarantee he will place you in that position because all we don't trust nobody. But once you there, you are there. It, you won't even feel it no more. You won't even feel like he's being hot and cold. But he still will do it sometimes. But just understand, this is why he's been hot and cold. He's busy. He got a lot going on. Um, there's a lot of things on his mind and his heart. And one, he's been accustomed to doing it. So he got to learn you. He got to understand you. You know, it's a lot of work. And he got to find that balance between you, work, life, and personal time, okay? He got to understand these things and just allow him to do that. That's, that's my best advice. Just allow him to be. And have patience because it's going to take some time. But... Good things come to those who wait. Because like I keep saying, I know I'm sounding repetitive. Once you do that, you will you will get the best man you ever had, okay? He will tailor his 
he will tailor his life to you. Right? Because Virgos are um, mutable signs, so we adapt. So he will tailor his life to you if you give him time. Because he wants to do that. He wants to give to somebody. His greatest desire is to give. We are givers. But you ain't going to just give it to anybody just because you say you want it. You got to earn it. You know? He will earn you. So you need a private session? Hit your boy up. Um, hit the link. Follow me on Instagram, Jay Whitfield Inspired. Remember, ladies, have some patience. I'll let your boy.